good people good morning from Dhaka Bangladesh uh, I will be doing a sample review today and I have a 2ml sample of this thing uh, as you can see from title it's gonna be Parfums de Marley I think this is uh, Herod Herod uh, Royal Essence but just simply called Herod um, I just got this sample just to test it out uh, I really uh, took my time with this and uh, I was just gonna see if I need the full bottle or not so I'll tell you what I got from it and I'll be comparing this also with the version of Zara they cop cloned the Herod a little bit they tried and it's called a uh, rich warm addictive from the tobacco collection so as you can see a lot of, of just juice gone down and I used uh, quite a bit of this and the winter uh, both of them are really good I also got a couple of samples which I'll be reviewing um, these are from MFK Mrs. Francis Kirkjohn uh, the Oud Satin Mood and then the Baccarat Rouge, uh, I think uh, 540. So these are also sort of masterpiece. I'm just testing them out. I'll be doing them uh, back to back, I think, in the next couple of videos. Also, I have uh, one other full bottle to review and then uh, a few other coming up. So basically, I don't own any full bottle of this house from this house, uh, Parfum Steam Marley. I plan to buy and I believe just waiting for uh, one of my brothers to bring some of the bottles the community so i'll buy from him all right i believe studying enterprise is gonna bring them soon or even if run by so this one uh this is a 2 ml sample and uh it comes with a sprayer here i think this is a nice little you know like sample i like the black color and everything so but the bottle i i don't have so i cannot show you but this stuff uh, i'm not i'm not gonna take very long time I'm just gonna tell you in short what this smells like this is one of the richest sweetest and uh i would dare say uh safest uh, fragrances i ever sniffed uh because i love the note of tobacco so there is obviously a lot more going on than tobacco let me put some of it on my skin oh god okay this is a little bit tough <laughs> okay there you go this one for the small sample uh, sprays uh, sprays a lot and uh this one uh, I don't want to spray but I will tell you I know the smell of that very well so first of all the perfumes de Marley the bottles look really really nice they look very grand and they're kind of expensive side I think on the UK I if I'm not mistaken I'm going for 150 pounds and above some some of them are 350 pounds and above uh, for the black black Friday sale I think it was uh, kind of you know uh, discounted but uh, you re be ready to pay like around 130 to 150 pounds uh, if you get cheaper than that lucky you but then usual prices are high and it comes handy 120 mil 100 mil I'm not quite sure I didn't check so first of all let me tell you I love this fragrance this fragrance and I did try Ojean I did like that too and uh, I have few other Godolphin and few others to try in my try list I'll get the samples I'll tell you just look at the that the oil concentration this is very highly concentrated so yes, first of all, I get beautiful, sweet and resinous. It's beautiful, dark and very uh, tasty, almost gourmand-like, you know. And uh, it, 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 it almost feels like it could be unisex, first of all. And it's definitely cold weather scent. Uh, Herod, obviously reviewed by all the reviewers possible. The whole Perfumes de Marley is just my experience I'm sharing. Um, I definitely gonna buy a bottle sometimes uh, when it arrives in Bangladesh and uh, I would love to get those in my collection those beautiful looking bottles you know and uh, this uh, it's very potent <laughs> longevity is crazy on me just this one spray is gonna last a very long time on my skin which is pure quality you know the concentration it's really really good the perfume oil it's really nice and I think this blend to perfection it's it has a very smooth uh, from the first spray all the way to the dry down it's very smooth transition it doesn't have a uh, what you call the any harshness or anything animalic that is many other fragrances there are out there which does and some tobacco they don't do very well this tobacco I believe is done really well it has a peppery opening as well it has a little bit spices but they put fancy notes you know I checked Fragrantica they said fancy notes uh, uh, it's something goes like a peppery pepper black pepper uh, wood something <laughs> I don't know what that is but yeah it does smell a little bit woody so the sweet uh, sp spicy uh, it's almost like think of the fruitiness in Tuscan leather minus the leather you know 
it's not the same exact but i get that fruitiness up top which i get with harry it's a beautiful sweet opening and moment you sniff it and you immediately think of christmas or something cold weather snowing outside it's going to last and cut through that cold okay um this one in comparison with the zara they made this version and which is darn cheap i think now you can get 30 pounds or something or below but uh this fragrance uh, the tobacco collection the rich warm and addictive this also lasts a long time on me it's not a poor performer it's a very good performer this thing also is the same uh, for winter only and it can be worn for both genders the difference with this and this uh, on the opening i would say this is more like candy opening yeah it's a more candy opening and it has a lot more coconut which perfumes Timarly doesn't have that is uh, one difference and the perfumes Timarly as it progresses the tobacco starts coming out better and better and better and you're gonna get the beautiful tobacco note smooth all the way and the dry down I think you're gonna get uh, like I'm not quite sure I forgot total note note breakdown but you're gonna get the sweetness uh, all the way and it's gonna definitely pick you up compliments with this with this Zara you're not gonna get all those notes that you get from Harrod Herd, it's gonna give you a lot more notes. It's gonna smell much more premium, much more uh, dark and uh, more natural. This one smells a little bit synthetic, but for the price you pay, you shouldn't complain. You, you don't get that a complex of a fragrance, but on the dry down, it starts reminding you of Herd, minus the coconut. This one uh, has that coconut note. Some people get turned off by that. If you do not like coconut, shouldn't try this. But again, if you if you're living in a cold country and you're going through winter and you're looking for really a cold weather scent right this is easily uh can be your uh budget friendly version of herod it's somewhat similar like i would say 65 percent to my nose at least not exactly 100 percent uh i think it's not a bad buy for the zara so it's not about zara review just was so telling you the comparison i think this would be loved uh, by people who love the note of tobacco uh it smells like you're gonna suit it up if you dress formal and stuff it's it's good for that and for dates i think it would be great um like romantic dates you know it's it's like uh even if you let's say if you love i don't know why i'm thinking but durham perform you know i don't know why it's giving me the same uh, feel that durham perform gives me very dark very strong um sweet at the same time it's very strong it's like a beast mode scent here it is a beast mode scent so longevity i would say uh, it's very good it's a 10 out of 10 projection i think i get projection from this like for two hours then comes close to skin but doesn't become a skin scent it has a nice bubble around you and uh, i believe uh, it's good for both genders good for winters versatility is not that great in that term like you shouldn't wear this maybe for office if you wear it in the office just go one spray not more uh, the summertime you can wear it so it makes it like less versatile uh, uniqueness factor i don't think any of the perfumes de marley you cannot call it unique they're all unique in the, their own terms because they have their own thing going and people are copying them so they're not really cloning maybe Layton has a feel of hugo boss bottle but uh, i wouldn't say exactly it, it it's same maybe a vibe you know but it's they don't they don't copy anybody so that's great and uh, the house is all class you know the bottle the presentation everything so it really works it i cannot see any weakness in these fragrances uh especially for herod i don't I, it i don't see many people would hate it like i smell the other ones the ocean and everything could be uh challenging for some people because it's a bit dark i have to try habdan uh, hamdani i think there are a few others in the wood collection uh, but i'm very interested in this house so the house thumbs up i will give this for this initial bottle uh, the smell I, I'll, I'll probably go for the full bottle even though I have uh, this one uh, this is a nice cheaper version but I think Herod is a must have so it's a masterpiece sort of and uh, if you just don't think of the what you call versatility factor this uh, is one of the best tobacco based fragrances out there so I recommend you to give it a try don't blind buy anything obviously but it's it's good for you know both your lady lady can use it you can use it and uh, and 
it's just that so many other things going on around that tobacco so yeah it's pretty nice if you're a tobacco lover please check out Herd by Parfums de Marley so that's all for me today and I'll talk about those other fragrances that I showed you and a few other full bottles in upcoming videos take care guys have a nice day bye bye